so no no intro this week because we we kind of tackled it a little bit early and actually we kind of did it separate too yeah because you, you kind of got stuck with the with having to you know do dad stuff all that stuff but you watched it as soon as you were as soon as the mini day it went to went to bed so yeah what was that that <laughs> I, I, I thought you said died for a second <laughs> I, I almost, was like, I'm not gonna lie I almost did I feel like I almost did I feel like you did too that's when, why I was like wait, went wait. away we went to sleep whatever you know what I meant bedtime yeah Jesus hey I just woke up we were we were doing stuff and I but I fell asleep I fell asleep well we were we were watching a movie and I fell asleep <laughs> can you finish <laughs> Jesus this whole time he's like completely saying things that like either scare me or make me feel like you tried to like do things to me or that's why you were asleep. Anyway, what? Nothing. I'm anyway, so, so in honor of Happy Death Day to, to you, you coming out this or came out on Friday. We haven't seen it yet. That was impressive. We did the to you at the exact same time. We haven't seen it yet, <laughs> but today we're taking a little break from Freddy. We'll watch it. We watched Happy Death Day. Yeah. So I had never seen it. He had seen it once before. So. So yeah. Here we go. All right. Uh, Tree Gilman. 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 I don't know. Is a blissfully self-centered collegian. Uh, I'm pretty sure the word is collegiate. I, I think. Who she's wakes up college. on her birth? Yeah, she's in college. Who wakes up on her birthday in the bed of a student named Carter. <laughs> Uh, as the morning goes on, Tree gets the eerie feeling that she's experienced the events of the day before. When a masked killer suddenly takes her life in a brutal attack, she once again w magically wakes up in Carter's bed. Ooh, mysterious. Alright. Groundhog Day, but murder. Pretty much. God, it was... <laughs> Okay, it's an older movie, so spoilers. Spoiler warning. Right here. If you haven't seen it, that's your own fault. It's been out for like two years now. Yep. The Groundhog Day reference at the end. <laughs> that was so cheesy. <laughs> of course, dude. You really didn't think they were going to do uh, that, dude. I, I mean, I, I was kind of hoping they'd do it sooner, but like right, the fact that they did it right at the very end, and she's like, the hell's Groundhog's, Groundhog's Day? It's yeah. like, really? You don't know what Groundhog's Day is? Like, one of the greatest comedic movies. Uh, that enough. is also not really... It's like the least comedic of his comedic movies, yeah. I think. Anyway, what'd you like, buddy? Um... Since you know it was it was yeah the newbie yeah here it was better than I expected that's for sure um I mean really it it's still it's it's the typical horror movie it's too formulaic it's there's nothing really special about it except for it kind of has the unexpected ending that you that we know about now especially from the trailer since it says it in the trailers mm -hmm. so the trailer literally spoiled me because I had still never watched it that's my own fault mm -hmm. though. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's really formulaic through the, throughout the movie, follows, yeah, there's, okay, no, there's nothing really outstanding to talk about. Okay. So, I mean, I mean it, I'll say the, the unique repeating the day, that's the best part about, uh, the horror movie, because a horror movie hasn't actually done that yeah. before. Throwing you in and in and yeah. in the same day over and over and over Different again. ways. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, the acting was alright, wasn't amazing, made me want to stab my eyes out for some people. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, for um, sure. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's just an okay movie overall. Like, it, I can understand why I got a sequel, it's popular enough, it's good enough, but, yeah, it's just okay. So, anything for you? Um, same thing, uh, the... <laughs> It's very, it's really simple. Um, it's a simple, it's a simple enough story, but the way they do it in a horror movie and have you interchange your day to yeah. figure out who's your killer and how to, mm -hmm. and by the end, it knows what type of movie it is. Like in the beginning, it feels like they're trying to it, make They're trying to be serious, serious and they're like, oh no, this is this isn't. Watching it this is gonna be pro funny. like progress through the whole thing makes it feel like, Cause like it uh, finally finds its feeding. Yeah. And I feel like that's why Happy Death Day 2 
Oh yeah. Probably might be a little bit better. Yeah. Just because I, I they think... already know what they are. Yeah. And I believe you were talking to our good friend Bam. Yep. Uh, and he Bam. said he really enjoyed it. Yep. Bam told us to go see it, so yeah. We're gonna go so see we're it. gonna go see it. So thanks for the recommendation, Bam. Go see Alita now, because it's not making enough money. <laughs> uh, but yeah. yeah. So negatives. I mean, I pretty much already covered yeah. my major negatives. There's nothing really else to talk about. I mean, short and yeah, sweet. Short and sweet with this one. Um, the only thing I'm gonna add is it's really, like you said, it's super horror movie cliche. Yeah. It's it. And then the deaths are like, oh, okay, here we go. Oh, yep, you're dead. Oh, yep, <laughs> yep, yep, you're, you're dead. dead. And oh, guess what? You're gonna die again. All right. That's pretty much it. That's that's the movie. Yeah. I mean, it's a cool premise. It's a different premise to a horror movie. I don't I don't feel like we've seen this really yeah. done in pretty much any type of horror besides oh, yeah. maybe like Final Destination, but that's not really like repeating the day. It's yeah. seeing the death. Seeing well, like yeah, they see the their fool. death ahead of time and then they have to run from death. Yeah. So, so. I will say that be before before this one. That was easily the most unique of the horror movies. Oh, yeah. But this one, I think, has got that beat now, especially since we've only had, well, I guess two now. And that one, we have, like, 20. And it, and it never make another five. Final death. Is it really five? Yeah, it's five. Jesus. Anyway. All right. Score time. Uh, yeah. score time, uh, I'm gonna give it a go ahead, like, uh, the, the, what is it, the 50-50, go rent it. It's not really a necessary addition Bye. to the collection for sure. I mean, it's it was for me just because what the hell? I'm 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 a movie junkie. Uh, but yeah, for the for the average person, just just go rent it, watch it once. It's not really a repeat viewing kind of movie, at least not for in my opinion. Yep. Um, if you like if you like it more than that, then go go do what you got to do. That's my, that, that, that's my rating. Uh, I'm gonna also copy that 50/50. Um, it's cool. It's in, it's cool enough to check out. You're either gonna be on the side of loving it, or you're just gonna be like, eh. Yeah. And I'm just eh with it. I mean, it's it's unique, but overall, it's not gonna be one of those horror movies that I'm like, you need to watch this. So. Yeah. All right, guys. That's it for us in the studio today. We love you. We'll yeah. see you on the next one. See you in the see you at seven tomorrow, I guess. Who knows? Bye.